Hey everyone, well Britain is finally out of the EU and so depending what side you're on it's either time to open up some sparkling wine or start opening up those hundreds of tins cans that the BBC warned you to stock up on. Either way it's better than the old diet where you had nothing but Brussels and kept losing pounds, billions of them. Talking about tinned goods though, it would actually be fairly ironic if the coronavirus became a global pandemic and those stockpiling people actually turned out to be correct all along. A bit like how Mark Wahlberg was originally booked on one of the 9-11 flights but took a different plane in the end. Actually, I read recently that the Duchess of York was supposed to be in the Twin Towers that day but was running late because of an interview. Weird. Anyway, back to the subject of the EU. The UK is out, even if it took so long that Geras, the Greek god of old age, passed away. Going forward, though, certainly the one thing we'll maybe see less of is middle class people sitting around Westminster Square painting EU flags on their faces. I also found that a bit of a strange one, not least because Brexit was never so much about disliking European countries so much as the specific bureaucratic institution. You know, it's a bit like if those people had painted the Lewisham Council logo on their face or worn a cape embroidered with a map of Waltham Forest singing songs about local government and how nobody was able to work in a different borough until the local government reorganisation back in the 60s. But anyway, thus ends Brexit and after three years, which TV series finale did it turn out most like? If we'd been filming it like Cheers, I guess Nigel Farage would start to walk out the door before turning around for one last look and flicking off the light switch. In the Game of Thrones style Brexit ending, Boris is on the throne and everyone knows now that the years long plot around Theresa May being overseas was a complete waste of everyone's time. The Soprano style ending, personally my favourite, would be a good one. You see question time start up with a panel full of Remainers before it just cut to black and the credits rolled. As it is, there's the US and EU trade deals to negotiate still, so I guess in the end it's probably a bit more like Breaking Bad, where the ending is pretty satisfying, but then there's a spin-off series coming featuring some of the same characters. You know, I hear that it features an American TV show host in a lead role. Let's look forward to that, I guess, Mr Trump. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.